Dude, my hair's at a stage where uh, I have to like, can like put in product and condition it. So if I try and record like I used to, like, hey, I've just woken up, want to crack on with the day, start recording, my hair looks like this. So we're going to move past that and, uh, and crack on. Anyway, uh, Afghanistan, this is what I want to see. This is the highest single fort defense modifier uh, in the game in terms of national ideas. Uh, and in Afghanistan, we start out with a couple of different mountain provinces. So I thought today, uh, instead of going for rampant conquest or uh, the whole empire of the Trez of Timur thing, why don't we focus on slowly crawling across mountain ranges and making it such that by stacking uh, defensive ideas over here, uh, where are you? Max attrition uh, for enemies and just stacking everything to do with that, we can make it miserable to take our lands and then, especially if we push over here, see if we can get a, a nice, um, how, how do I put this? Choke points, I guess, here, here, and here. And then we can declare war on literally everyone all at the same time, and they physically cannot kill us because of the simple fact that we uh, will attrition them to death. So outside of this region, we can have a bunch of scootaged vassals, so no one can uh, hurt us, we can still expand. But then when it comes to actually fighting us, uh, they shouldn't be able to do it. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. First off, though, we are up against the Timurids, and uh, we're not exactly the strongest around. I'm going to go ahead and grab expand the fortifications, even though we don't lose crown land share from developing promises, which kind of hurts, but that's fine. The local defensiveness is quite nifty. And it's thematically appropriate. Which is the most important thing at the end of the day. All right. As Afghanistan, we do have some uh, missions over here. A lot of them in terms of conquering East and the Mughal Empire. Some stuff to do with stability, I guess. Like I said... We want to hold mountain provinces and just make life miserable for everyone else. Because <laughs> I am a well-adjusted member of society. <laughs> Alright, let's get our independence first. Just divert my trade. Okay, upsetting, but sure. We do have my alliance with Transoxiana, but we might have to wait until Shah Rukh dies to actually declare war. Oh, cool. So one issue we're going to have is uh, we have three forts at the start of the game, which costs us three ducats a month, so we're going to be losing money. Alright, we've got to wait for the Timurids to get out of this war. Dance ability. Alright, we've got a nice start here. Timurids declared war on Hormuz. Sure. See, without, like, if everyone's disloyal, we can fight the Timurids one on one. Um, because they just won't be able to get through this fort. Impossible if we have tech four. And I mean, is, is, is he 69? He'll die soon. Hopefully. Okay, we just need to. There we go. There's support independence. From the Mamlukians. Now wait for Shahrukh to die. Wish this fort was just over here in Kabul. Make life so much easier. Fun fact about forts though. If you have a province that doesn't have a fort that you want it to. You can just drag and drop onto the province you want. So if I drag this, it'll go over to Kabul. <laughs> Sorry, I just sometimes like throwing things in there. Because I know there are going to be some people who are new at the game that will believe it. Like there's the guy sitting there who's got like 3,000 hours watching this. Being like, you're an idiot for that joke. But some people will be like, ah. I tried it and it didn't work. Why am, why am I out here trying to spread misinformation on the internet? I don't know. This feels right. Nice, 44. Okay, Fars and Khorasan. Improve relations. Improve relations. Mind you, do I really want to uh, get the others involved when I could just have my cause back, you know? Me, Transoxiana, and the Timurid and the, uh, the Mamluks should be perfectly enough. There's the attrition of empire right there. Or oh, sorry, graveyard of empires, attrition for enemies. It's quite nifty. Don't sleep on these national ideas. They're not terrible. Uh, cost reducing war exhaustion is, is, is terrible. Fort defense is good for what we're trying to do. National manpower modifier plus 20%. Very good. Demand reputation is always nice. It's only plus one, which is a shame. Cover combat ability. Again, decent. Uh, if you're planning on that sort of thing, you'll just see kind of trash, but your enemy is decent. And then there's general cost minus 33%, which might seem kind of weak. But if you combine that with a golden era, over here, where it's all powers cost minus 10%. You have a minus 43% on uh, generals. So then you can spam them out and start expanding this this um, army professionalism a bunch, right? So for 50% of the cost, which is great because that's free manpower right there. Okay, just need Shah Rukh to die. It's, he's 72. He's really, really clinging to life here, okay? Just uh, anytime you feel comfortable. So this is a... I mean, Najd is already dead. Oh, nice. Shah Rukh is also dead. So now we shall be disloyal. Khorasan isn't. 
Jesus, everyone's everyone's loyal. What's that about? All right, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, he's allied to the Great Horde. Actually, a little bit annoying. But I think we just need to declare the war. Transoxiana is allied, but didn't come in. Maybe because it started it was at war. Okay, we have a little bit of time before he gets here. Probably should have prepped better than this. All right, so we're close to Tech Fort. Ideally, I run in and blitz here right now. But the Mamluks are trapped. Sorry, the uh, Timurids are trapped on this side of things. So I'm hoping that the Mamluks will actually do something. Okay, didn't realize I was getting attacked. I was clicking on another battle. This is bad. This, yep, yeah, this is not good. <laughs> this is, mm, mm. Did not anticipate the Great Horde getting here as quickly as they did. Damn, they really dropped everything to get over here, huh? Okay, prepare for war. Afghan leadership, right. That'll get us the next tech. This will give us some morale of armies. This gives us more morale of armies. Okay, we are going to lose a fort here, but that's okay. The discipline guy. Ooh, okay, he's gone. He's gone. We've got to go now. Uh, I think we have a better general. He's got a 3-2. We have a 2-3 that's slightly better. We've got some discipline. We've got the tech. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to scorch the earth and try and get out. Okay, we can't get out of there. We won't get stack wiped at least. I'll actually win that. Painful, but good. We have 400 men left. Go home. All right, we've defended our borders. All right, here they come. All goes to defend Kabul, remember. So we can take everything else. All right, this is a good fight. Very good fight to take. Lose stability. That's okay. That's fine. We'll take that on the chin. All right, and we defend our lands once more. Timur is on low. Okay, hold on medium. I have an idea. We're going on an odyssey, boys. Okay, we li we've left our land completely undefended. Timur is no longer a great power. Cool. All of that to stick the great horde on low. Get him out of here. Now, that does give me black... That does black flag me, which is exactly what I wanted. Because now I can just appear on the capital. Come on, go to raw. Right. Jumping around the cabal. Painful, but worth it. Right, so we're going to get Noble Castle rights. That's going to give us four, uh, fortifications, or cheaper fortifications. Uh, I did manage to get the free company killed. So that's fun. Where's this? Mamluks. Okay, well, I'll take it. Free money. Not that much, but still enough. Okay, this will give me all of my cores back and independence. All for the low, low price of 73 war score. Okay, we are still getting ticking war score. Uh, what else would I want? Probably some war operations. In Herat. Because these aren't like the mountain provinces I want. But it'd be nice to eventually get here. So stretching out west is a good idea. Oh, they'll just give it to me. Cool. Okay, well I don't need this money because I'll only get six ducats. War reps. Land. Excellent. Cool thing is most of the stuff is our cores. So we've only got one non-core province. Expand Afghanistan. Nice. Sweet. Like I said, I'm not really focused on uh, pure conquest. I want to I wanna do measured conquest. Let's see what my claims are saying. Okay, we've got a bunch of claims now. Uh, again, this is a, an amazing province to hold, so I kind of want to hide behind it. I don't really want to go into India. Because going to India here, bad move, I think, personally. Because if the whole, yeah, the whole idea is we want to shore up our defenses, this is not a fun way of doing that. Because uh, we're pushing out into planes. I have a client state there, I suppose. That's a lot of modifiers in one province. That might be the most amount of modifiers I've ever seen on that province. What I do want is Quetta. This Quetta is another place that we can hold. We move the fortification from uh, Kandahar over to Quetta. Oh, I can just do it. Cool. Okay, let's do that then. Oh, the force of our strength was always attack. Forts are our strength. Our fort defense must be pretty bloody high already. Fort defense is already plus 20%. Uh, then you have the 33%, which I was talking about when I said it's really high, from the individual state stuff. So we, there'd be about, what, 53%. We'll have another 25% there, uh, 78%. And then from defensive ideas on its own, another 25%. It'll be about 100%. Christ. That's miserable, especially on a mountain. The attrition stuff. Uh, and then I could just do my hit and run stuff over and over again. We're like, okay, cool, you want to take this province? Sure, I'll sit there and bleed for a while, and once you get a positive score, I'll hit you. Also, that is a big-ass sin. Delhi is, that's not where Delhi usually is. <laughs> I know Jampa formed Delhi, but you know what I mean. Oh god, the Timur is just annexed. 
Transoxiana. Uh, Elizabeth wanted an alliance. They're upset because I rejected it. Uh, I'll have an alliance with you. We just got lost in the post. I'm sorry. 2-1-2 two, two for Austria. How the Ottomans getting on? Ottomans are doing pretty well. Mamluks as well. I mean, the Mamluks have already dived straight into... Uh, uh, straight into the Red Peninsula. Granada already gone. Otherwise, it seems pretty normal. Next build tech. All right, a little bit we can declare war. I don't want to. I don't want to like declare war. So I've got the peasants war looming. I've got to get half my manpower back. This guy half pays for himself. Does that give me another 0.5 ducats a month? He costs 1.08. Simple, quick, easy maths. Seer hint has expanded very aggressively. I imagine they still have their guy in place. It seems a very fun campaign. I, I'll, I'll allow it. They want to ally me? I mean, I can't vassalize you in one war, can I? Again, I want to, like, nip out and have vassal states. So I think I'm going to go defensive and then influence. I can make a lot of money for a month. Okay, one, just end. There we go. Now I can build up a load of forces. Nice. Those Beckett Tibbers like me. All right, off we go. My aim is this war is to literally just take this one province. Uh, Kalat. Um, actually... Let's take Kalat as well, because that is a good barrier. Because if I can get it on if I can get it on this side, people can't just walk past here. Which means I can have all of this land as well. I don't really have land I can develop to get the Renaissance. I mean, uh, actually there's this one up here. When's my truce up with you? It is 1470, so nine years. And that's our next sort of expansion. So we'll have nine years to sit and develop. It's a lot of events. 50% cheaper. Skill 2 guy. We could afford him. Kalat is over. Yes, run out of the... Oh, they are running to the mountain provinces. Okay, cool. I'd say, why, why else would you do that? Okay. What should I take in this war? Because, again, my initial aim was Quetta, just to hold the mountain pass. But Kalat is a very powerful fort that projects um, control over this area, so you can't go through this mountain uh, anyway. We're fighting them again. Yeah, Kalat seems good. I can't quite get rid of the, the Kandahar... Uh, fought just yet because we'll be fighting the Timurids. But that leaves me open to take all of their land. Which is nice. Oh, are you just going to sit in the desert? There's a mountain province right there you should have been sitting in. Can you not get home anymore? Oh, no, buddies. Pals, friends. This is not where you want to be. That's rough. Okay, I just have to sit and wait for a little bit now. Yeah, I think taking the entirety of Blue stands a good move. Herat gets local development cost minus 10%. It's still not worth developing there. That's 15%. Nah. Okay. I'm going to make a question move. I'm going to get uh, Admin Tech 5 and then get defensive ideas early. Usually I wait until Tech 6 to take ideas, but that's fine. Because then I can use the rest of these two to develop Renaissance, which I think is a good idea. And start going down defensive ideas now to get Fort Defense. Yeah. Okay. So, the, like I said, Iran is a pretty defensible circle from here. Down around here, up through the mountain ranges here. Our issue is going to be this northern lot that you can get into without too much trickiness. So I think allying Uzbek and getting them to take out Nogai is a, is a great way just to have a buffer state. Because we don't need, need to go any more north. That's not the plan here. And I'm happy to sit at war. We're not suffering attrition. Manpower's going up. Money's going up. 90% okay, should be enough. Yeah, there you go. Okay. That's a good push from Afghanistan. That's a good amount of allies for the Timurids. I have to call on our, our boys, the, the Mamluks. Okay. Administrative power from the Ulema. Yeah, I don't think we get rid of Jandahar just yet. Where's Badakistan? It's not this one, is it? No, it's Balk. 20 years of minus 75 cent tax modifiers. Horrible, sir. Development cost. And I think we start Devon. So there's a mountain here, so we can defend ourselves nicely there. Okay, if we went for mountain here, mountain here, that is going to project control here and here. Go protect it here. Okay, in fact, if I do it like this, it's easier. Yeah, we can't really project as, eff as effectively as I want. Okay. We put one here, that's a mountain fort, it's going to stop from getting here, which means this one's open. Put fort here. It's not going to protect it. I don't want land I can protect, so I think I'm not going to take Merv. I was going to put an all fort there, but that's sort of besides the point. Let's get that 50% cheaper guy. So there's the Clyde War on Hormuz again. If, they had a, if Hormuz had a good fleet, they'd be safe. Oh dear, they're fighting a the jam. The Timbers have bounced back quite remarkably. Okay, what I want to do now 
go ahead and reduce the autonomy in these areas. That way we can fight them uh, easily enough. Sind, Gujarat, and Chagatai. Chagatai I don't like because they're coming from my north. Anyone from coming from the south I can fight. Sind, yeah, no worries. And I want, I can take these two provinces off of Sind. Because, you know, mountain fort protecting. It's kind of a loose rule I have for myself right now. I can only take provinces that are protected by a mountain fort. Or at least have the ambition to be protect, uh, protected by a mountain fort. Timurids, I think, have taken more land. Well, something happened. Yep, they took Fars. Weirdly enough, this is better for me. Because one singular uh, manpower pool is a lot easier for us to deal with than multiple. Okay, where would you rise up? Seven development. Four, nine... 10. Probably, presumably in Quetta. Let's go stand in Quetta, get you to rise up, and then I can stop him army. There you go. Thatter. I don't want Thatter, thank you. It's not protected by a fort. The mana gets development cost. That's the province we're developing, so we're going to have to go for that, even though I really don't want to. Because it hampers the taxation. 15 years. Otherwise, you get plus 60. Ah, oh, that's a shame. 44, though. Interestingly, it was uh, Kabul that asked... Baba, who would create the Mughal Empire, uh, to come and rule them. Uh, he used to have, where are you? Somewhere over there, where's Fergana? This one, yeah, Fergana. He used to have this area. Uh, he took Samarkand a couple of times. Traveled from there to Samarkand. Uh, once he was, he went to Samarkand and was tricked. So I can't remember it exactly, so take this with a pinch of salt. But as far as I remember, uh, it was a bastard son of his fathers that came to his door with his mother he allowed them in he was tricked to go to samarkand finding it closed to him then went back and uh, had nothing uh so they basically uh done him both in because uh, i think it was a um an advisor or something had seized the throne in the name of the the little kid so he became a warlord and then later on was it later on that kabul i think it was later on that kabul uh invited him in and then he went into India from there. He also lost Samarkand another time when uh, he allied himself with the Persians, who were Shia, and then the populace got upset and decided they'd rather have the Uzbeks rule over them than uh, good old Baba. I like this. Possible advisors perform progress growth. Because that'll get us to more defense earlier. It's... Wait, what does this do? Tax modifier. Eh, haven't done this in a while. That sounds fun. Timurids is done. Not on time for my discipline guy to die, eh? So state income is 0.86. If I pop on this, okay, that is worth it. 0.63, nah, that's worse. <laughs> sometimes it's better, sometimes it's not. Huh. I wasn't planning on taking on fighting just yet, but this kind of means that it's a good idea. Let's see, what do the Uzbeks want? I can swing that. Kind of want to select all of his territory though, so that it all goes to me. Just so everyone is on the same page about what we want. This is an offensive defensive war. We're attacking such that we'll have a good defensible position against people when they hate us. And then we can just start taking stupid aggressive expansion. That's the ultimate plan, right? Because if I can go ahead and get a nice defensible circle, I can do whatever the hell I like because no one can touch me in terms of coalitions. Unless they declare war on my scootage vassals, which they shouldn't do, I should be able to just have a vassal, expand it ridiculously, um, but, you know, obviously scootage means that they can't be attacked. Well, they won't be in the wars with me, so they won't count the wars quite, unless obviously someone attacks my vassal directly. But like I said, I hope that doesn't happen. I'm going to declare the war now because I don't trust that this won't change. I'd rather get it done. We have an overwhelming... Not overwhelming, actually. We have a decent amount of things in our favor. Okay. I don't have any great generals, which kind of sucks. <laughs> I'll take a morale of armies guy, though. Wait, where are you right now? You're over here. In the Hassalis, Conquest of Basra. Okay. Where's your capital? Come on. I might be able to rush and grab that. Do have a two siege guy. Oh, there's a 14k stack. I'm hoping you can... Why are you running away? Go back in there. Oh, that's going to be rough. Okay. You've lost that badly. Okay, so I don't know where his troops are. Okay, they're over there. You can come join me. Take that. We have now got Renaissance. So it's currently 285... Yeah, that's more money. But I need to be able to switch these out to defensiveness is the thing. So I probably should have gone for the state edict one. I just want to try something a little bit different. And I realized the, the folly of my ways. Also, I'm terrified that there is going to be a Timurid army knocking at my door soon. So I just want to take this province and go. 
On the bright side, there aren't that many... Uh, interesting. There aren't that many forts in the Timurids. I'm going to wait until the next tech, I think. There's no point in me grabbing the next few ideas. Or well, next idea, singularly. Oh, he's gone for a mountain fort. What an idiot. What a mistake. What an error. Oh, let's see he's going for him. Well, that's good Good for you, man. No idea where the Timurids are, man. They're just letting us walk all over them. Surely I have more troops in this. Oh, God. No, we have a massive majority. Okay, this is, this is bullying. This is not like the grand spectacle that I thought it was going to be. It doesn't help that his troops are trapped. Oh, they were trapped. In a war that they benefited nothing from and their ally had abandoned them in. Okay, I need to actually start planning what I'm going to do here. Again, I only want things that I can take, that I can pretend protect from a mountain fort. That's the rule we're playing with here. Which means I can stretch into, like, I, I don't have to just stop here. I can stretch into these territories up here. This could be a good move. Because, again, all this can be defended. We pop a fort and bam. And it has a citadel as well. What's the level 3 one do? Caravan power, much plus 1. Bam. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, bam. That's a pretty <laughs> stupid joke. So a fort and bam protects this area. It means they're all crossing in. And then we need one in Laristan. No, actually, one in Fasa should do it. Yeah, the one in Fasa should protect everything. Again, this stuff I can protect with the mountain fort later on. So this, like a, a mountain fort here, could also be good. Or here, in Malibu. I mean, what's the aggressive expansion like, I guess? <laughs> it's fine. Cool. Well, that's 99%. Like, that's that's pretty good. Okay, one or two bits of war score away. Fort defense, not fort, fort offense. Okay, and there we go. Afghan conquest of Burjand. Take out a small loan so we can get the renaissance. Take out another small loan so we can get the renaissance. Just so we can crack on with the next deck. All right, then we need to work on building these forts. This is going to get expensive quick. Conquer new states. Nice. I'm just going to click to high income thing even though I'm not going to use it right now. It just annoys me. Could have gained 400 ducats if I went for these two instead. Jesus. But the reason I went for this is because of a jam. Well, I want to take that land ASAP. Or oh, someone else gets it. Also, I want to get into the Persia trade node. That's just objectively better in every way. We can sit back and make some money. Jesus Christ! <laughs> How long have they had that for? Support the opponents of Foix and Orléans, the allied to Austria. Must have had a bug gun inheritance and then just, well, inherited everything. Brabant's free, though, so I don't know what happened there. Oh, but they're a fourth rank great power. And Muscovy's got the Teutons. Sorry, not the Teutons, the Livonians. Sweden's gone into Norway. Okay. The game is not as as uh, instantly recognizable as I'd previously led you to believe. God, what a weird couple of years. I thought this was strange. All right, we'll keep an eye on Brittany then. I actually really like the aesthetic shape of Afghanistan right now. It's kind of sick. Sweet. Those are all cores, so I can do the same thing as before in terms of reducing their autonomy immediately, which is incredibly efficient. I'll wait for a couple more cores. Interesting. Ladakh as a vassal, huh? That's what the emirs want. I mean, it's it's appropriate. Cool. Why not? That's the entire plan, after all. That's annoying, but okay. Oh, that means I can't reduce autonomy. Oh, that's actually horrible. Oh, Mamluks. Let's see. How strong is our trust? I mean, I could get out of this one. I think I will get out of this one. I don't want to be here. Hold on for a little bit because I don't want the minus 25 prestige. War defense guy, yes please. Okay, cool. That's 50% cheaper done. Now we can reduce autonomy. It's going to be a very efficiently run realm. Diplomat is gone, but we do get a 50% cheaper one over here and a 50% cheaper war defense guy. Jean pieced out. Okay, Farsi separatists. Probably going to be in Shiraz. No point getting the next type of cannons just yet. Really want to chase down that fort defense now. All right, I was right about Shiraz. Perfect. All right, let's go for the other ones. Okay, fort maintenance is costing us a, a decent amount. 634? Christ. All right, this is good. Uh, DBS that currency and then lose the two corruption. I've overworked my arms at the gym, right? So I can't straighten them properly right now. It's because it's, it's I haven't got, I didn't go in a little while. And then I went back to my old routine and I, my body was not ready for it. So my arms kind of just like sit like that for now. <laughs> like I'm kind of like permanently posing like that. So it just takes me a little while to stretch out. So if, during the recording you see me just sort of like do that. 
I'm not like trying to hunch my shoulders. I'm trying to twist my arms out to straighten them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we get workshops. We need to build those as well. All right, I want to see if this works. I'm putting feudal taxes everywhere. Oh, I didn't uh, reduce the autonomy over here. Well, I'll do it now. Probably robbers again, that's fine. Oh, right, I wanted to see how much more money I was making. Jesus, okay, I'm making a good amount from taxation now, apparently. All right, we can afford those uh, forts now. Ah, Ladakh is allied to Timurids and Sirhind, so that's a little bit annoying. Okay, what else could I take around here? This lot aren't protected by... They'd be protected by a fort over here, so I could take Ahvaz. And I could take... Uh, I think so, I pronounce that at least. But beyond that, it's getting kind of tricky around there. Little buildings, nice. Right, the Hasselies are upset again. We can nip in here, take them out now, again. Bring them back into Quetta. There's a lot of allies though. Uzbek would join him on his side, that's annoying. Let's put its cost modifier minus 15%, which is actually pretty good for us, because I need to get stabbed too. How long does clerical dominance last? 81, okay. Let's get drilling. Okay, we could do another idea group, but I need to figure out which one that would be. Okay, so there's two elements to this, right? There's the fort defense and there's the attrition for enemies. So attrition for enemies, let's see. Korea can do plus three with the righteous army decision? Christ, that's terrifying. Anyway, uh, so there's the tier three government reform defensive stance. This, I think, is out of date because I don't see anything saying defensive stance here. Does it mean down here? That's tier five. Max hostile attrition, there you go. I was trying to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Okay, it's cool. It's just fort defense. Which is, as a Sunni nation, there's nothing I can get. Well, there's actually, there's mysticism. I should be going way more mysticism. Because that gives me fort defense, right? Does it? Why is this game lying to me? Mysticism plus 20%. Uh, uh, this, yeah, the, the wiki is wrong. It's saying mysticism is Muslim plus 20% at 100 mysticism. That doesn't seem to do it. Maybe it means morale. Whatever. It's fine. Anyway. Defensive edict, sure, uh, let's see, venture engineer, naval espionage, naval maritime, no, that's blockades, what? Man, someone needs to update this wiki, <laughs> so just go for the policies directly, then I'll, uh, I'll search through that, edict of resistance, so religious ideas will give me attrition for enemies, let's see, oh, um, influence ideas, as well as quantity, the quantity influence religious, and infrastructure. Okay, I need to write this down. Defensive quantity, okay. That will give attrition. What about fort defense? I spell it the American way. Espionage, innovative, that's basically it. And then mercenary, but like, that's not gonna help me. But infrastructure ideas would give me attrition for enemies plus one. So the idea is if, if there's a lot of armies, they'll be stacking up anyway, so the max attrition won't really come into it. Like, they'll already be up 5%. So let's just keep them there for as long as possible. Let's focus on fort defense. The other ones I'll just collect later. So espionage seems to be the way forwards. Oh, I really want an influence though. What would influence give me? Watch me bend my logic now just to suit the fact that I want influence ideas because I think it'll be useful. That garrison army damage is the stupidest. Okay, so I can't take influence even though I think it'd be really good for us right now. It might have to be infrastructure ideas, weirdly enough. It makes sense for our, like, sort of playing tool idea. Fort defense plus 15% with espionage ideas, though. I mean... Fort defense plus 15% is hard to ignore. Yeah, we'll go espionage. Mm. We'll go infrastructure first, and then we'll go espionage. Because admin, I feel like, is going to be harder to come by later on. I also think this makes sense. Construction cost. I mean, it's fort maintenance, which is probably going to be quite useful. Oh, stabilize Afghanistan. Okay. Gain which are claims. Control the eastern steps. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> Alright, spell it to our force loop. I think we have to go up against the sham. I mean, this nation is meant to be built so we can fight people uh, that are bigger than us. This book has war exhaustion, so maybe we can keep them out of this. I just have to, I'm just weak on this side here. Okay, fighting a sham. Who would I be fighting? Akinu, Uzbek, Hormuz, Shirvan. The issue is they come through here and I don't have any de any defensive advantages. Okay, Uzbek wouldn't come in, but I would still be fighting Shirvan, Akulu, Hormuz, and Ajam. Eh, sounds like fun. Can I have access to Rids? No? Cool. Oh my god, that's actually go for it. That's pretty funny. So they currently have 2%. 
That attrition's kind of low, you know. Maybe I should be going attrition. Wait, this does give me attrition, right? Yeah, attrition for enemies and garrison sites, right? Okay, so we're fine then. This is going to be four defense plus 25%. Grab that. So how, what's our four defense right now? 68%. Oh, it's 120% actually. Jesus. Right, let's try defensiveness where things are at risk. Religious ideas would be a shout, now that I think about it. For the simple fact that the Casus Belli I get with that is superiority. Which is something we could do well. Because the one issue we're going to have is that we have to always be fighting on the back foot. But for that to be truly effective, I'd have to flip to someone like Zoroastrian. Wait, is there a thing with Zoroastrian? No, Hindu would be good. Norse. Can't be Norse. Coptic gives 15%. So I reckon we flip Coptic, you know. Okay, eventually we'll flip Coptic. So we have to go religious ideas first. I know this is getting a bit weird. Because if I get religious ideas, then I get the attrition for enemies anyway. Plus, by the time I've got this permanent Casus Belli of Deus Vault, I'll be Coptic. Which is just useful. So there are a couple of provinces of mine that aren't defended. Uh, let's go War Taxes Cost. Actually, no, aggressive expansion. I do enjoy the mental gymnastics of uh, our leader setting out this plan, sitting down with his sons, like, boys, we're going to become religious. I'm, I'm adopting a more religious outlook for the nation. It's like, oh, mashallah, baba, we're going to have to, we're going to become better Muslims. No, you idiot, to become Coptic. Like, well, that's the only Copts we know of are in Ethiopia and in Jordan. You're like, yeah, like, we're going to get there eventually, so what's, what's your problem? All right, we're going to fight him here, and I might not quite stack white. Okay, they've actually gone to each of our forts. That's cool. Um, let's go challenge them. Uh, and by challenge, I mean let's challenge them to a siege race. Uh, let's go all the way around, because I want them to sit on the forts. That's ideal. But I don't want to lose Kabul. Okay, we've locked with, like, he's moving off of Kabul. Nice, that's one of them done. You know what? Why am I fighting these? I, don't, I shouldn't be fighting these. I should just let them, like, I should chill. Four defense plus 25%. Hormuz has jumped in, but they are essentially trapped. They can't do anything to help their buddy. I was going to Kabul. Can I catch someone in Kabul? <gasps> I can. Please leave so I can just find him. Oh my god, no, no general. That's why it's really nice, actually. One little combat stack and the other one running around. Uh, siege and everything. Right. Who are you fighting? You look like you're about to try and fight something. Palatinate, which means we might have a gig or Austria. Although, the Hungarians are getting rinsed. Okay. Yeah, the Ottomans are going to be strong in this one. Which is bad for us, because we need to race them over to Sanske, so I can become Coptic. Trishroni's plus 0.5. Nice. I don't like the look of this. What are you standing there for? You'll, you'll defend me, right? Alright, no point getting this right now. I'd rather get the tech, so we're not losing innovativeness. Ooh. You split up. Jesus. Wait, you lost the water, Sanske? Jesus. Oh, they fought Georgia. Nice. Yeah, you can sit there and suffer attrition. That's fine. All right, there's our cannon tech. It does feel like the Timurids are about to declare war on a jam, so I really want to get these sieges done. Okay, what's your fort defense? Actually, pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to march him over here, but I want to risk losing that. He's probably going to go into Tabriz, so I'll stand here. Yeah, he can't leave Tabriz now. Excellent. All right, and now we try and make him unconditionally surrender. All right, occupying his nation. All right, I'm fighting at you now. I was wondering why they were like, they had their forts highlighted. The Ultimates are going to be coming for the Mamluk soon, and I'm not about defending my allies, to be honest. All right, we're going to have to attack them in the mountains. Uh, Uzbek wants... Wait, you want feudalism? Okay, yeah, sure. Seems kind of mean to not tell you about that sort of stuff. Go to the base. Lose the corruption. So where are you going to go? Rashed? No, somewhere else. Probably to share then. Okay, let me tell you what I want. All this stuff could be protected by the Comanche Fort. I'm gonna I'm planning on building. All right? Yeah, cool. Uh and I need to get to up here and the copts as soon as I can feasibly. Cool. All that stuff can be defended. That's a that's a coalition. That's fine. So what we need to do next is quickly smash Karakulu and then straight into Georgia. Actually, no, Karakinu would do it on their own. Karakinu, and I need as many of these provinces as possible. I can get two of them through Melikates. Oh, sorry, Karabakh. Actually, fight, I can fight them both at the same time if I call in Biapas as a co-belligerent because they're allied to 
Karabakh. Okay, cool. So I just, I don't need this Karabakh claim. I just need the one on uh, Karakulin. Then we promote their Rebels to rise up religiously. Go from there. Because that'll be the Dimmy. So I should be able to just trigger them to rise up. Pissing them off a whole bunch. Oh, it went around me. Nice. Good job. Now can I get the siege, please? No. Maybe offense would have been a good idea. Just get the sieges done. Okay, there's the peace deal. We can upgrade ourselves to a kingdom, which is nice. We have our claim. Okay. This is not going to be a fun period of time for us, but it has to happen. Okay. Core everything. Let's go to war. The Appas, Karabakh. Why would you come in? Oh, you just allied everyone. But no one will come in. That's ideal, really. I got very lucky in that case. All right, stop being coy. Um, we need to crack on and get this done. Where are you going? How can you run this far? Oh, that's that's yep, that's quite a few troops. Okay. Oh, and we're all we're all gonna have to go in to help. I have no idea where these troops went. I'll be honest. Okay. The upside is everything here should be protected by a fort. So regardless of the rebels, we should be fine. Still protected by fort. Some of these areas are not, <laughs> and that will be a problem. Okay, next government form. Strengthen the Dimmy. Don't want to do that. Strength the Ulema might actually have to happen given what we're about to do. The only issue is that the Ulema are already plenty powerful. But they're not really going to be the Ulema for long, are they? Religious unity could be a, a stunning move. Ah, this will be more fun. We're going Coptic Zealot uh, Afghanistan. It makes sense. Just don't stop to think about it for too much. I'm also going to have to kill every other rebel before we trigger those religious rebels. It's been a while since I flipped religions through rebels, so I, I, need to, I need to remember how to do this. Okay, this is the piece that we're going for. <laughs> that's a, uh, yep, that's a thing. I'll just get out of this warp. Alright, this will be fine. I just gotta, uh, I gotta remember how to do this. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. And I also need the cops to, the Coptic rebels to colonize my, like, to convert my entire land. So I think what I'm gonna need to do is crush, I need to crush every other rebel group first. Alternative, I could get it done now. Alright, let's get rid of all these rebels first. Alright, cool. We can finish off our defensive ideas, giving attrition for enemies and hostile attrition, and also national manpower modifier. All these things are going to happen at the same time, aren't they? Ah, oh, Christ. I'm going to have to start triggering some of these to get it. Because they like to stack them a bit. It's a great time for a guy to die. He looked through all this, went, mm, not dealing with that. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's that one done. Current new separatists we'll deal with now. Karabaki Separatists, we're going to provoke, even though we need those uh, religious rebels, we can always lower autonomy to get them back. Alright, Armenian Separatists, Biapsi Separatists, Gilani, okay, these are all in the same area. Okay, actually, Hormuzzi ones aren't. Let's go do with them first. Okay, these ones are now Coptic Zealots. That's ideal. We're going to reduce our autonomy. There's Armenian ones. Alright, Coptic Zealots are going to rise up. Right, this should be our nation clean of all other interference. The Ottomans are fighting who? And why? Oh, because of Akinunu. Cool. That's going to be fun to, to deal with. Okay. So the only things that are going to rise up are the Coptic Zealots. And that's at some point. Reduce autonomy here. That should reset the rebels. There you go. Going to seize land just to give myself a bit more unrest. They used to trigger religious rebels, but apparently not this time. And they just killed themselves against the Ottomans. That's very zealous of you. Muscovy, Poland, Vijanaga. Poland has destroyed Russia. Apparently. How's Brittany getting on? I don't know they've... Have they? I think they've taken one or two provinces off of France. Not sure. I think France is a bunch of allies is the issue. Castile just has Ferrara. Hey, Tunis is doing alright. Like the Ottomans and Morocco. Alright, coward. Alright, start on these little castles and such that we're going to need a lot of money um defensive is an area caravan power no it's not going to help loss of stability it's the only time i actually want to the only concern is that the rebels decide that they're going to die to this lot around here we need to surrender territory very slowly to them all right let's give this a shot okay like i said it's been a while since i did this uh let's see how it goes Quickly bring down our missionary maintenance to zero. <laughs> okay, I've stationed some troops in Shirvan so I can go back and take these off them. Moment of truth. Please convert to Coptic. 
Yes, okay, cool. Right, we're on our way. It's just going to take a lot of time. We need him to control 50% of our territories. We can convert the rest on our own. 101 ducats from the Mamluks. That's very kind of you. I guess we'll use it. Not sure what on. Okay, we just need to keep baiting him down this way. But the second I like try and take a province, he'll come all the way back up, which is really not what we want. Yeah, man, bit by bit. 23%. They occupy 6 out of 51 provinces. And they'll break me. I need cop I need them to occupy more than half my provinces. But I want them to I want to keep stringing them along because each time they go down here, they're converting more, which is less for me to convert. I'm just gonna go in and help Shivan. Because otherwise I know for a fact what's gonna happen later. That's gonna be a big part of their history books. <laughs> they had some rebels, but the uh, the Afghan troops that were stationed there to keep an eye on the Coptic rebels uh, in a definitely not conspiracy went and uh, destroyed them. Kalka? I haven't seen... What the hell? Where the hell are you? Kalka? I don't think I've seen Kalka in, ever naturally occurring. All right, there's birth of colonialism. All right, apparently this province is the best one. That colonialism's decent way done. Surely these Coptic zealots are like finding it mysterious that every single fort keeps on opening their doors to them. Maybe they're like, oh my god, it's, it's the will of God. Everyone knows our cause is righteous. They want us to succeed. Well, that was terrifying. Just marching through the land like that. Oh my god. Could have gone round. No need to march into Mushasha and potentially die. The hell was that meant to prove? Gotta keep an eye on these rebels. Make sure they don't rise up. This is gonna change my whole government type from Ikhtar, because I can't be Coptic and Ikhtar. It doesn't really work, does it? Gain stability, gain government progress, please. Wanna try and get this next one as soon as possible. The Hajj is over. I did that 20 years ago. <laughs> Jesus, the Mecca is like right there. One of the comparatively easiest journeys in the uh, in this time period. Come on, keep going. Oh, scary Ottomans. Still getting there. Still cracking on. Don't you dare. Okay, we're going to have to send some guys in to deal with the Farsi separatists. Go up. Yes, nice. They've almost finished this lot. There we go. Colonism, done. Uh, let us go institution spread instead, because that'll spread it over to this province, which is going to be very, very useful. <laughs> you still have a got renaissance. Nice. All right, I was meant to fight the Timurids next. I'll do it after this. <laughs> he just killed Luristani for, no like, there's no reason. There's no need to kill Luristan. I'm backing up out of here. Coptic Zelix, uh set to rise up even more, which would be ideal. So it's war tax cost. Where are you going? Up here? Really? Oh, guys... A uh, intricate web without any straight. That's actually pretty decent. I didn't even see we had a 453, yeah? That's nice. Probably is, it says get control of the country. Yep, I'll, I'll be there soon. Wait, no, I should have done that because the rebel's gonna. Whatever, I just failed that. It's okay. It's fine. Still don't have 50% of the country. Where are you going? They just went all the way around. You could have walked around the Ardland. You went all the way around just to kill him. So unnecessary. All right, we get colonialism. Got great power, which is nice. All right, awesome. More zealots. That's ideal. I don't want to give you knowledge sharing colonialism, to be honest, because I worked hard to get this. And no one else can get it, so. <laughs> just keep on murdering people. There's no need. Okay, still not quite 50% of the country is, uh, is us. Still got to be a little bit wary. Okay, there's no more rebels that are going to rise up. Okay, we I'm making loads of ducats. Okay, I need him now. Just, just kill that man for no reason. Okay, he's going to go all the way around here. And we can get rid of all this stuff. I've got to be so careful now. 25 or 4. Okay, I've got to, I've got to start occupying provinces now. Yeah. Okay. Now I need to stop sieging this stuff before he starts sieging again. If that makes sense. Otherwise, he'll come up and attack me. All right, a diplomatic reputation and also piety accelerator, which is nice. All right, and let's go hide in Shivan again. Yeah, still can't become Coptic. Not just yet. All right, I want to try and drag him over here. Osman's awesome, announcing he's their new rival. That's fun. Oh, anyone walk, like on the border just getting destroyed constantly. Uh, look, there's just no need to walk through two sovereign nations and kill them. Okay, I need to drag him back down south now. We're, I mean, this is this is a very long process. It's taken multiple decades of our like prime. Again, our build is getting killed. Just kill the other ones as well. Okay, he is turning up. He's still not turning up around here. 
More Coptic Zealots into Britain. Oh my god, they're terrorizing this area. Oh, there's just no need. Okay, he's actually marching down here now. Right, how many has he got? Okay, we can still afford a couple more provinces. Okay, if he doesn't stop in Laristan, he's coming for me. I don't need to run. He did stop in Laristan. All right, run. I think there was another lot of Coptic Zealots, but they were killed by the Timurids. I think that was a small lot. They can take two. Oh, no, there they are. They just fought someone. They can take two more provinces, and then I need to do the whole split up thing. Honestly, a couple more provinces we can, we can uh, get out of this. And yeah, still can't convert just yet. And that's what happens when you take a pro like a, a religion that's got two of your provinces. Uh, sorry, two only two of your provinces have that faith. What do we have here? Probably need to take a couple more provinces just to be safe. The only reason you're still alive to is these Coptic Zealots are taking so long. They're like, guys, we're winning! The history books that record them as being like, oh, I, can you believe that they won against this behemoth of a state that was modern Af like, you know, Afghanistan? Very suspicious. I wonder how many times in history that's happened where you're like, oh my god, what a momentous victory for them. And it's it was actually just planned. I mean, obviously not in the same way as this, because it's incredibly unrealistic. You know what I mean. Okay, now we just need to hope. Okay, they are pushing east. Again, this saves me having to convert all this land as well. Uh oh. Okay, retreat. Retreat to Roh. That's the last sort of holdout. And this lot just decided to come Shia in the midst of all this. Don't come back. Don't come back. He is. He's coming back, in he? Fortunately, the fort was up, so this one didn't convert. That was very silly of me. Oh, cool, cool. This is good. I thought they were going to come round, but instead, they might be going to the capital soon. Please take a right. Oh, no. You're going east? Yes, they are. Perfect. Give me access, please. I just need to sit in your land. They're like, don't you know about this mildly inconvenient uprising you got going on? Like, yeah. Don't worry about it. We'll fix it soon. This was a mistake. This feral place was a very big mistake. Oh, well. Being announced with his new arrival. Just one second. It's, this has taken many decades. Really? Oh, Coptic becomes a new state religion. Okay, nice. So that's just going to happen. So now we need to take back all the land because everything that they occupy is uh, is going to have issues with autonomy. I'm pretty sure I could have done this a while ago, but oh well. See, I think it is everything they occupy. Yeah, I don't really want to have to deal with that. So let's go take out this lot first. All right, here we go. We are now Coptic. That should immediately give us fort defense. It does. We have missionary maintenance uh, down low, which is why we can't convert anything. But we have missionaries for days. Let's see. Coptic holy sites. Get discipline. Excellent. All right. That's that sorted. We become an eastern plutocracy. That's fun. Uh, but no. Feudal nobility because of the income from vassals. And just in time. Deus Vault. Gives us the Edict of Resistance. It's a kind of the faith. Quite an Indian raid. Nice. That's what happens when we become Coptic. Gives us Baba. We've got 5-5. Five, five. I think it's the time we declared war. Holy war. On everyone. Seems like fun. Alright, let's go full defensiveness. And let's take a look. 75 days. Ah, oh, that's nice. What's the attrition like? 3%. Good to see. Just nip in and grab ourselves some starting war score. Dude, the, the armies don't even want to push in. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, here we go. 40k. Yes, that's what we want to see. Right on the mountain province. Let's grab some defensiveness over there. We should scorch the earth as well. It's 5%. Nice. Meanwhile, I'm just going to nip, nip in and take his province. Oh my god, that is painful. Oh, government form. Wait. I mean, this is great, this. Land leader shock, yada, yada, yada. But what I want is defensive stance. Max hostile attrition, fort defense, even more. Garrison size. Oh, it's beautiful. So we can out-siege him. Not because our siege ability is good, but because of everything else. He's already lost 15,000 men from attrition. This is beautiful. You might not like it, but this is peak E4. Right, let's have a look at the war enemies. Where are you? Military, armies, war enemies. No guy has 26,000 manpower. We'll check in on that later. <laughs> now, does my fort defense translate? Oh, please go straight for Bam. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Chuck in some defensiveness. Let's lure a stand done. And the beauty of this tactic is that I can just take all this land now. All right, he's on the uh, 
positive percentage, which means I'm going to nip in here and attack him. And there goes his troops. I'm going to lay, I'm, gonna, I'm genuinely going to let him take cover. <laughs> like, 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 I'm going to let him take it back. This is too much fun. I need to take Balk back, um, but I don't want to scare him off of... Oh, he's left Bam. Oh no, we lost the Siege of Kaman. <laughs> Whatever will we do? Kabul now has a, a, a fort as well. I decided it's prudent to grab one of those. We have taking War Score, by the way. <laughs> he's lost 35,000 troops to attrition. Oh, hang on. He's going for another fort. This was not even a mountains fort. Defensiveness, he's suffering 3.6%. There's a max of 7%. There's something so beautiful about this. Oh, I draw much all the way up here. Oof, that's rough. If that goes positive, I will go and help out. Okay, cool. It feels like the game's running slowly because of how slow these ticks are. It's not. It's just that's how slow the ticks are. Oh, you hate to see 60,000 uh, men die to attrition, huh? And now we just nip in and take them out. Because our troops are just good. <laughs> Sunny zealots. Okay, let's go kill them. Uh, it's discipline. I kind of want the fort defense guy. But we'll take discipline for now. Dip in here. Okay. Now well, there goes Ejran. <laughs> Taking one of his provinces. The enemy manpower's not looking so hot. <laughs> Weird that. I'm going to let you siege that down, buddy. In fact, I can get out of this wall. Execute your troops. Then let's go start on Hassa. In fact, I think I have enough against Hassa just to piece him out. Yeah. Can't really relax with the Timurids. Wait, can I... I can defend... Ha ah, does. So, I'm going to go stand on it. You know what? I don't care about your trust with your alliance with the Timurids. It literally doesn't matter to me. But I'll take your territory, even though it's double cost. Because what the hell is anyone going to do about it? Same thing for you, buddy. There's nothing anyone could do. I need to get rid of my alliances now. They've lost 60,000 troops to attrition. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, no guys back. He's immediately running. <laughs> All right, that's uh, also I have adaptive combat terrain, so if we do fight in mountains, it's beautiful. Uh, what do I want to do? I wanted to get out my war taxes. There go no guy. He's gone for raw. It's interesting tactic. Let's switch that over to defensiveness. So Adran, Ardlan, Hadramut. Oh, he's already gone down to twenty-eight percent. That's actually pretty good. Siege two guy. He's got some cannons. Not bad. Now, can I take this territory? I could take one. The other one is not possible right now. Because I could protect that one. Because the, the idea is, right, if, let's say, the Ottomans declare war on me for uh, this province, Melikates, right, it's protected by a fort, so they can't take it. Speaking of being protected by a fort, I need to go up against you next. I've just started the siege. I'm actually okay with them winning a fort, you know. I'll stop it if I can, but it's honestly fine. Because what's he going to do? Take the next one. That's the beauty of this uh, tactic. Right now, you're seeing it whilst we're on the front foot. But on the back foot, it works even better. Like, where you have layers of forts. Um, it's the, I did this against the Ottomans. It's just nagged. You just keep on retreating backwards. It's a thing of beauty. We just won the Siege of Mo before we won that one. He's not even going to win it in time, is he? Oh, it's 3% attrition, that. That's rough. He's not even going to win it. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's only a Highlands fort, this. I wish there was a mountains nearby. Technically, that means we could push into Sindh by one, because it's basically the same thing. Let's see where these troops are retreating to. Samarkand, huh? Hello. Goodbye. Oh, he's still... He's still he, I thought he died there. He didn't. His troops are still kicking. Ah, oh, Protestant Reformation. Nice. I haven't played for this for... I haven't played this quite some time. It's a lot more um, of an even pace. His army's been wiped out, which means that we can have a bit of fun here. And spread out. Also, I'm going to say this. I don't think that once you complete the religious ideas, you should get a call for peace in a religious war. The whole point of this is you've tooled up your populace to go for, like, purges of heresy and that sort of stuff. And I understand that, like, you know, I guess people get tired of it over time. But at least there should be, it should be tooled differently or have, like, a different way of going about it. I don't know. Feels weird. Okay, that works. And we've encircled the Timurids. <laughs> Important thing is, I've grabbed a couple more mountains provinces to build more things in. Then we just gained 400 ducats. Because of reasons. What does that uh, religious ideas actually give us? It gives us missionaries and missionary maintenance costs. Sure, church sends Jews manpower in true faith provinces. Some missionary strength, taunts true faith, prestige, opinion of country. 
That is the worst modifier I've ever seen uh, in an idea group. And then obviously the person come permanent cast spell eye and then culture conversion cost. So it's not a bad idea group even without the cast spell eye, but it's obviously a very, very good cast spell eye. I'm going to do something stupid here. I'm going to take the, uh, the tech before I core anything. So it would appear to me the next clear thing for us to do is infrastructure ideas. Grab another attrition for enemies. Alternatively, we could go for innovative or espionage. I think I'm going to go, I'm gonna go uh, infrastructure. Grab some more fort defense along the way. And it also helps out with fort maintenance minus 25% there. And then it should... The next one we do, the espionage, will also get rid of uh, how much forts cost, which is nice. If we wanted to, we'd have to go down influence and quantity for the next attrition for enemies, which actually, now that I said it aloud, is a better idea. Influence and then quantity. That's that's a, a shout, given what we want to do next. And what we're going to do next is head into Georgia. It looks like the Mammoth's getting occupied. How? Ottoman Conquest of Cyprus. You idiots. Could have helped. Well, actually, I wouldn't have voted. It's sat behind my forts, but I'd have been there in spirit. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more of this and see if the true potential of Afghanistan can be unlocked, please do make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. We can also see how this Britain is going to get on. Christ. <laughs> Alright chaps, have a good one. See you next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JadeOw52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on it.